मैडम चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल नाउ द गणपति हॉलीडेज आर ओवर एंड यू विल बी हैविंग योर एग्जाम्स सो लेट एस गेट बैक टू स्टडीज चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज लेसन नंबर थ्री सॉइल इरोजन एंड कंजर्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड रिवाइज दिस लेसन so today we are going to discuss the behind exercise which is given in the textbook after the lesson now every time you watch a session of science you sit with your pen and paper and note down the questions and answers which we discuss in the lesson it it will help you while revising for your exams so let us start lesson number 3 soil erosion and conservation children what is soil erosion the taking away of soil by wind or water is called soil erosion now you know that how is soil formed yes it is formed by a process called weathering breaking down of rocks or wearing away of rocks is known as weathering which forms the soil and soil is very important for us because we get materials to build our houses from the soil plants get water and minerals from the soil to make their food by the process called photosynthesis and many animals insects worms microorganisms live in the soil that's why soil is very important for us so we have to protect the soil from getting eroded because you know that the formation of top layer of soil takes hundreds of years and the topmost layer of soil is known as top soil it contains humus which is very fertile and when that top layer of soil is taken away by wind or water the land becomes barren or unfit for farming so we should protect the soil from getting eroded and what is it called right that is called as soil conservation now let us solve the questions based on the lesson so this is question number 1 fill in the blanks soil is formed by breaking down of rocks or wood so the correct answer is rocks soil is formed by breaking down of rocks and the process is known as weathering the wearing away of rock is known as weathering cutting down of trees or dash increases soil erosion so cutting down of trees or deforestation the cutting down of trees is known as deforestation it increases soil erosion because roots of the plant hold the soil firmly and it does not allow it to get eroded so when the trees are being cut down it increases soil erosion the protection against erosion is called soil conservation the protection against erosion is called soil conservation dash farming is done on hill slopes to prevent soil erosion that is terrace farming in this process the hill slopes are cut into steps that is known as terrace so let, let us see the next set of questions so the first one is 
the second question is true or false soil takes more time to form than to get eroded that is true because it takes hundreds of years to to form 1 cm of soil and it can easily get eroded within few days or weeks so that is correct roots of plants bind the soil particles and prevent the soil erosion that is true soil erosion due to flowing water is more on hill slopes than on plains that is again true because soil when the flow, water flows down the hills it takes more and more soil that's why soil erosion due to flowing water is more on hill slopes than on plains soil in farm lands is less likely to get eroded after the crop is harvested that is false soil is more likely to get eroded after the crop is harvested because when the crop is harvested the soil is devoid of vegetation so it can be easily eroded the loose soil can be easily eroded by wind or water next one terrace farming is done mainly to reduce soil erosion due to wind that is again false because terrace farming is done to reduce soil erosion due to water because in hilly areas soil erosion takes place more due to fast flowing water which flows down the hills see the next set of questions give one word for so the first one is breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is known as weathering the topmost layer of soil is called what is the answer children right that is known as top soil it contains humus and it is a very fertile layer as humus is present in it now the next one removal of soil by wind or water is known as right it is known as soil erosion when the soil is carried away by wind or water that is known as soil erosion now clearing of forests by humans that is known as deforestation now next one the protection of soil against erosion is called soil formation or or soil conservation correct that is known as soil conservation so are you noting down the answers of the question children very good now let us see the next set of questions that is choose the correct option first one which among these does not cause weathering of rocks rain wind force of flowing water pollution so the correct answer is b pollution rest all can cause weathering of rocks now next is which among these ways of soil erosion is not caused by humans now deforestation 
second is fast flowing river over grazing flowing so what is the answer the answer is fast flowing rivers now deforestation is cutting down of forest so that is caused by humans over grazing means when the humans take the cattle for grazing in the farmlands so that is again caused by humans the process plowing it is a process in farming wherein this which is also done by humans so in this way fast flowing river is not not caused by humans next one which among these can be caused by soil erosion drought cyclone flood earthquake do you know the answer so the correct answer is flood now do you know how it happens when the rivers flow while flowing they carry soil with them right and when more and more soil is carried away by rivers it get deposited on the way when the river slows down and by that by over the period of time the deposition increases too much and it causes the river to change its way which results in flooding so flooding or flood can be caused by soil erosion let us see the next set of questions which among these measures is most useful in preventing soil erosion by water in hilly areas so the first one is covering the soil building embankments step farming growing hedges along farmlands so the correct answer is c step farming it is most useful in preventing soil erosion by water in hilly areas as we have already discussed that when step farming means steps are cut into the slopes of the hills because of which when the river flows down it when it carries soil with it the soil that is flow or that is taken from the one step gets deposited on the next step thus it reduces the erosion of soil let us see the next question so identify the given figure so children can you tell me what is the correct answer this figure is of weathering or soil erosion it is of weathering because weathering means breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces so because of rain sun changes in weather the bigger rocks are broken down into smaller pieces so this is the figure showing weathering let us see the next figure soil erosion by water or soil erosion by wind what do you think children the correct answer is right this is soil erosion by water as we have discussed by moving down the hills the water carries more and more soil from the hills so this is erosion by water let us see the next figure this picture can you tell me what it is children erosion by fin or erosion by water you are right that is soil erosion by wind now soil erosion by wind takes place mostly in deserts and areas where there is less vegetation because the wind loose soil carry can be easily carried away by the wind so let us see the next picture it is shelter belt or 
embankment what do you think children right that is embankment embankment is made on the bank of a river right because the river carries more and more soil from its bank so to avoid that strong embankments of rocks and soil is made on the bank of a river that is known as embankment so this is the picture of embankment now next let us see the next picture so can you tell me children what is this it is a bun or terrace farming correct this is the picture showing terrace farming so we are going to end this session here hope you like and enjoyed studying after so many days now study regularly sai ram